guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Sinquanta Cotsmith of www.sinquantacotsmith.com. Smile for me. In this video, we are back with the how to start a stationary business. And today we'll be talking about how to order sticky notes for your business. Again, like I told you guys in the intro video, we'll be using one design, which is a small business owner design. And I'm going to show you guys normally where I get my sticky notes from, because this is something I already use in my business. I do understand that there's a lot of makers out there who actually make their own sticky notes. I am just not one of them that I'll do it, but I'll also show you an alternative to another place that I use and we'll get into the video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you're not missing these videos. Make sure um, you are watching the videos all the way through so you don't miss anything. A lot of the questions are normally answered in the video, but if I do miss something, chat with me in the comment section. We're gonna go over to Canva first because that's where I'm gonna design at. And I'm just gonna use a 5,000 by 5,000 to create my design. Because my original small business owner design is black, I am probably just going to do a white sticky note. I'm gonna go ahead and upload my small business owner design in black. See if I can find it. I'm gonna upload that in black and I'm just gonna put it in the corner of the sticky note. Just gonna see my, so probably go down a little bit there. I think this is how I want my sticky note to look. About right there. That's what it'll look like. It'll just say small business owner in the corner. Now note that if you wanted to do a border or something, it would look like this. Cause I wanna give you guys an option because I know that is something. Oh, let's see, these are pretty. Can I change the color on this? Yes, I can. My brand color is like black, white, and red, but I'll do a gray on here just because and this by all means, this is not a beautiful, a beautiful design, but I wanted to show you guys how you can, you know, create a border. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy it again and bring it down here. Don't worry, it looks crazy right now, but by the time we're done, you'll realize what happened. I'm gonna position this behind the small business owner. Then I'm gonna go and get me a square, just a regular square. Let's see, just need a box. Let me get it, type it in then. Here, and I'm gonna pull this out until it's even, and we're gonna make that white. Make sure that it's fully white. So that's fully white. And then we will position this backwards. Nope, forward, because I want that. I'll pull this to the front. That is to the front. We have that in here. Then I would probably make this smaller. This is if you wanted to create like a background for your design. Let's look at that in a bigger view. I always forget. Here we go. This is how it would look if we were to do it this, this large with a little border in the background. But again, like I said, I'm just gonna have the small business owner on this one, but I wanted to show that so you guys can have that option if you wanted to. I'll move this back down and then I'm gonna save this as small business owner sticky notes save that as I'm just saving it as a PNG not like a white background and because I'm just using one design and the designer that I'm using you could actually just have it as it is we want to create it I'm using Zazzle I use Zazzle for a lot of my business stuff it's been the only place I've ever gotten sticky notes for my business and it's really good with like prices and stuff. Office supplies, so I'm gonna go over here to post-it notes. They have these here and we'll, what we'll do is go over to create your own. 
So how you see, create your own. They have different sizes. Normally I do a three by three, okay? And this is a Zazzle template. Now what I would do is where it says create your own, I'll hit add image. And then I'll just upload my image that I downloaded. And I'll put it here. And this gives you, it tells you like the, the sizing and things like that. And this background is going to be white. What I would do is it's going to be white anyway. It probably wouldn't matter if my design is not perfect because then I can move it around. It gives me a little bit more leeway. And this is how my sticky note will look. So then I'm basically done. But of course you can, if you need that background to be different based on your design, you can upload a different background. If you have files, you can add elements. You can add your own text in there as well. But as for me and my sticky note, I'm done. This is what I wanted to create. And for my business, because I already have a business on Zazzle, I would just hit sell it. And then I would create this as a product for my business. It'll be small business, business owner, sticky notes. You add that in there, small, business owner sticky notes and i always put my business name at the end a lot of the times just for added keyword search results and put your tags in And that's how, I'm just, that's all I'm gonna keep. It is rated G. I want it to be public. How much I wanna make off this, it depends. If I wanna make $10 off this and I wanna charge $7, if I wanna make 6% off this, I make 42 cents. It all depends, up to you. I have the right to sell this and publish it and now I'll hit post it. And then also, as you see, I can, I can buy that design as well because I just created it. That is that part of this. <laughs> and then another website that you can use is Vistaprint. I know a lot of people use Vistaprint for something, but they have recently added custom post, post notes. So it's $3.36. It's pretty much just like Zazzle. It's more up to me, in my opinion, it's just more of a preference, whatever you decide to use. I just love Zazzle. I know the quality. I trust the quality. I've been using it for so long and they always have a sale sticker mule as well. I'm just so used to using it. I have Zazzle Black. It just all makes sense, but I'm showing you guys here that you can upload your design on Vistaprint as well and get started and get your design printed. They, I saw they had five, you could do five sticky notes for, I believe it was five sticky notes for 14 bucks. That's what that'll look like. You can preview it here and that's what it would look like. Review and purchase, hit next. I have reviewed this design, super easy to upload. I have not logged in or anything, but if you would log in or continue as a guest, depending on if this is a one-off purchase, I'm sure there are so many more options for you guys to create sticky notes. I'm just showing these two. It'll be $3.36 with a sale code. Again, like I said, I thought I saw something advertising was like five for 14 bucks. You can get five sticky notes for $14. That is cheap in my opinion. I'll let you guys know exactly which website I purchased it from when I do the unboxing and I'll let you know how much it costs because of course I'm keeping a total of all my costs and all of the products that I bought. I just showed you guys how to create your sticky notes on Zazzle and on Vistaprint. This is how to start a stationary business series and make sure you subscribe and chat with me down below. Have you purchased sticky notes from a small business owner or are you thinking about adding them to your business? And until next time, I love you more than I love this video. Peace.